in this uh, in this package in this TCS providing uh, information which is quite important for the studies of a scientist. This is about geology, the background of uh, earth sciences, and um, we are trying to make it more accessible for the young researchers so that they can access a broad range of uh, information coming from uh, a lot of different organizations ar around Europe. For example, we uh, provide access to a catalog of maps, of geological maps and uh, geo, geo maps in general with geohazards and different types of maps. Uh, we have a very specific development in the TCS about the access to a very big database of boreholes, millions of boreholes covering Europe and, uh, and abroad, uh, outside Europe I mean. Um, this is something which is quite unique, that has not been done before, I mean to put to give such a wide access with, uh, in a standardized way. And another important development of the TCS is about uh, 3D and 4D models, when we really create the uh, geological models. And, uh, and we are developing some new tools to discover the models, to describe the models, and then we will work on the uh, real access to the models. So this is, again, something which is new and can be useful for the young scientists, but for everyone in development. It's more about putting together all the scientists and uh, making them agree on standards and ways to, to share the information. So the real challenge, and this is actually a scientific challenge, is to develop the common standards to make them accessible to the, to the users and to the scientists and, uh, and to implement them in a, in a way which is not too heavy for everyone. I think that this connection with, with the geological community, which is a subset of the geoscientific community, uh, the fact that we, in this, in this project, we are putting together the communities of the geological surveys, which are uh, public organizations, and the scientists coming from research, pure research organizations, and, uh, and universities, is something unique. We have the opportunity to put together those sub-communities which were not necessarily uh, working together. And at the same time we are able to provide the, inform the geodical information uh, to the rest of the communities of EPOS and also outside EPOS. I think that uh, today we know that uh, a lot of uh, questions of the society are related to the resources, to the hazards, to uh, sustainable development. And to do this we have to get uh, an easy access to a a lot of information from the subsurface, and and I'm I'm sure that EPOS is helping to uh, to put all this information together and facilitate this access, so that the information about the subsurface can really be taken into account in in big societal challenges. Uh, it's it's uh, a big challenge again uh, of putting together people who are not obliged. We were not obliged to work together but who really understand, I think, that they have a, a strong interest of working together to be stronger. And, and there are not so many opportunities for doing that, and I think that EPOS is one of those.